Hey, this is Michael from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'll show you how to recreate a very popular way of recording and mixing from the past. Before computers, music was recorded with analog equipment, meaning tracks were recorded to a multi-track tape machine, mixed through a console, and the mix was then recorded again to a two-track tape machine. Many different consoles were used for recording and mixing, and also many different tape machines as well. When computers were first used for recording, the magic these consoles and tape machines automatically added was lost. With modern plugins available for your DAW, you can recreate these analog recording techniques. Often tracking was done on either an API or Neve console. They both sound fantastic, but they do have slight differences. Then the mix was done on an SSL console. It was possible then to record drums on an API console, then move to a Neve console and record everything else. This technique I like which can be recreated inside of Studio One with plugins. So we are going to recreate our drums being recorded through an API console and everything else recorded through a Neve console to multi-track tape. Then recreate mixing through an SSL into a two inch multi-track. For this, I like to use Slate's virtual mix rack with virtual console collection, virtual bus compressors, and virtual tape machines. For recall purposes, I recommend you save the session with tracking added to the session title. This is good if we need to change or tweak any of our settings from this part of our analog recreation at a later time. Let's set up our drum tracks for the tracking through an API. Insert the virtual mix rack. I like to use a trimmer module first so I can control quickly the level into the VMR, then insert the VCC channel. Toggle to the USA setting. I then use the FGN module mainly for any high pass filtering needed at this point and to add the vibe of the signal passing through the FGN module. Of course, this is a great EQ and any EQing you would want to commit to, you can with the FGN at this point. I know it is not an API EQ, but I like how it sounds. And I normally use another trimmer module to control the level out of the VMR. Next, insert the VTM plugin. Make sure it is set to 2 inch 16 track tape. Try the different bias, speed, and tape type settings. Different settings will give you more or less bass, grit, and vibe. For the rest of our recorded tracks, we want to recreate tracking through a Neve console. The only difference from the drum tracks is to set the VCC to Brit N. As you can see, I still use a trimmer in the first and last slot for level control and use the FGN module after the VCC for any high pass filtering and EQing I want to commit to and to add the vibe to the signal passing through this module. Now create a static mix adjusting how hard you are hitting the VCC and the VTM. Also any EQing and any other processing you would like to commit to also. Save your session. Now let's export stems and re-import those stems. Make sure our markers are set to include the length of the files. Under Songs, select Export Stems. No need for a file name prefix, so delete the text for file name prefix. Make sure Between Loop, Preserve Mono Tracks, and Import to Track are selected. Delete the original tracks, so now you only have the tracks that were processed through the VMR and VTM. Save your session with the session title ending with mixing. This naming convention helps with any recalling. Let's set up our tracks as if we were mixing through an SSL. All the tracks and effects channels at this point use the same configuration. Trimmer module into VCC, set to the Brit 4K E setting, noise reduction on or off, FGS for SSL style EQing, FG401 for compression, revival for any reviving, and another trimmer module. On the main bus, first insert the VMR. The first module would be trimmer, then the VCC mix bus, set to Brit 4KE, and I prefer noise reduction on. Next would be revival. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I remove it. And another trimmer. Insert the VBC FG Gray. This is the classic SSL mix bus compressor. And the next plug-in insert would be the VTM. Make sure this is set to the half inch two track setting. Try the different bias, speed, and tape type settings. You can definitely hear and feel a difference adjusting these settings. You can also hear and feel a difference with how hard you hit the tape. So this is one way of recreating analog tracking and mixing with Slate plugins inside of Studio One. I think this is a great way to recreate how many songs were made in the past. If you try this, you may find it adds something to your mix. 
It may get you closer to your desired mix quicker or give you ideas how to creatively use the VMR with VCC, VTM, and VBC. Many combinations are possible. RC tube for vocal tracking, Trident for guitar tracking, Knee for drum tracking, mix all guitars through API, all vocals through Neve, etc. VCC also has a fantastic grouping feature. I feel these plugins change the way I mix, and I would miss them now that they are a part of my mixing process. The track playing is a static mix that was treated with this process. API drums to tape, Neve everything else to tape, and mix through SSL. For me, this works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now go make some great music.